So in this lesson, um, I'm just going to show you how to use some reverb in Studio One Prime. I say Studio One Prime um, uh, because I'm going to focus on the basic reverb that comes with that free version of Studio One, um, rather than the other room reverb that comes with Studio One Artist or Professional. Um, so reverb is just a way of making the sound sound like it's in a room of some sort. Um, the more reverb you add, uh, generally, it sounds like it's in a more echoey or a, a bigger room. Um, vocals, for example, can quite often sound what they call dry uh, or quite unnatural um, if we don't add reverb. Because normally, when you hear someone's voice, whether they're talking or they're singing, you're not just hearing the voice from its source or their mouth, but you're hearing it bounce off the walls around um, and interact with the room. So if you're in a, a big room with really hard surfaces, there might be a, a long reverb as that uh, sound bounces around the room and bounces off things before it makes it to your ear. Um, as opposed to being perhaps in a small room with lots of carpet or drape style curtains, things that soak up the sound, the sound will disappear and get absorbed very quickly and sound quite different. Um, so I'm going to start with our vocal track here. Um, I'm going to be really careful with it because there's also a vocal effect here, which is a delay. So there's already a delay sort of echo sound there. Um, so I want to be a little bit careful about how much reverb I add. Uh, but let's just pretend for a minute perhaps that there isn't an echo sort of track here. I'll show you what I'm talking about, actually. We'll play a little bit of that. So you can hear a delay effect there, but if I solo this uh, vocal track, it'll sound quite dry. Oh, and let your heart guide. No, yeah. so bring the vine. All right, and that's quite a dry sound, so there's no real um, echo or decay on that sound. It sort of drops off very, very quickly. Or there is a decay, but it's very, very fast, I suppose, is the more correct way of saying it. So here's this track here, and you can see it's highlighted it down here as well. Uh, so there's already an EQ there, um, but now we're going to add in our inserts a reverb. So we click on plus. Um, now I really like to use the room reverb, but Studio One Prime doesn't have that. Um, it has a different reverb. Let me just find it. Uh, mix verb, they call it. Here it is here. So this one is available on the free... Uh, Studio Prime and it's quite easy to use um, it'll pop up just like this mix verb it's called um, and we're not going to focus on all of the different uh, settings or parameters in here really I'm just going to focus on size which is like the size of your room and mix which is how much of the reverb sound we're putting into the mix so let's just uh, loop a section of the vocals here and I'll get that playing. Yeah, so, bring. so I'm going to go over the top here and I'm going to play with the settings. I'm going to push them right up so you can really hear how it sounds. And then I'm going to bring them back to uh, something that sounds natural or that's going to work for our song. So you can hear now it's sounding like it's in a big room and you can hear the sound bouncing off the walls. But also it has the effect of making our vocalist sound like she's a long way away. Um, and the vocals are arguably the most important part of the track. So we don't want them to sound like they're a long way away. We want them to sound much closer. I'll play that a little bit longer. Once you have it how you want, um, that's it, I suppose. But with this track, again, I'd go back to this uh, effects track and play them together and see how it sounds. Um, 
because you've got this delay as well. Mm. Actually, I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to leave that. Um, all right, talking reverb. Uh, bass guitar often wouldn't put a lot on, but you, you can, yes. Uh, the drum kit. I wouldn't go through and add a reverb effect to the whole drum kit, to every single channel, um, for two reasons. One is, it's going to take you a lot of time, because um, you've got to open up, in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different mix verbs you're going to have to set up. Um, I'd want to do it all together. Uh, so you do this by using what's called a bus. So with all those tracks selected, I right click. Um, and add a bus for selected channels and that puts them all into one bus if you like and here it, here it is um, and then you can add it from there <gasps> it's not coming up why is that I've got to work that out hang on what have I done here did I click the wrong thing that doesn't look like a bus let's remove that boom let's go again Add bus for selected channels. I must have clicked this one. There we go. Bus. Aha. And now we have our inserts like we should. Um, so I can add one reverb to the whole drum kit, and then the whole thing's going to sound um, okay together. Uh, so we've got that. Just turn off all our solos and mutes, and I'll solo just that. And notice when I've soloed that, it's soloed all the drum kit components with it just by clicking that one. So I can manipulate the whole drum kit at once, and I can turn the whole drum kit up and down at once. Uh, so if we play that, I can turn our drum kit off, on, uh, and then I can add an insert and put the reverb onto the whole drum kit all at once. So here we go. Uh, click the little plus sign, find our mix verb. Here it is. Uh, and notice the mix is, I can't adjust that, that's because that's essentially what this is doing is I'm adding it to the whole mix at once. So I don't even need to worry about that. I'm just going to worry about the size of the room. Ooh. Has a huge impact, doesn't it? Whoa. Now my drum kit's in a cave. So So that's drum kit reverb. The other thing you can do, or the other way you can go about this, is adding a reverb to the entire song. So you're putting the whole band in one room together. So using our main, instead of using a bus, you could use the main. Let's just get rid of the, that bus for a minute. We know how to do that now. Uh, so same thing with our main output. So that's everyone all together. We can add a mix verb here. Um, and let's play that. But you got to remember, if you've got reverb already on a particular channel, we already have it on our vocalist, um, adding yet more reverb to that and putting the whole band in a room, it might wash out our vocalist. So I would just listen to that carefully. Yeah, so quite like that. I think that sounds good. Uh, so that's how to add reverb to your piece of music.